Hello. So this is a quick um, Periscope welcome guys. Um, sitting in my car enjoying this beautiful weather. I've just had some lunch. I just had a beautiful homemade uh, roast pumpkin with some oil, salt and pepper and some nigella seeds. I'm not sure if you know of nigella seeds, um, but they're a beautiful spice used in Indian cooking and um, in Ayurvedic cooking. And um, I don't have too much time, but I wanted to touch base with you all. Last week, I, I think it was on Thursday, I came to you and uh, shared my three top tips for healing your digestive system from the Ayurvedic perspective and I wanted to give you three more tips, three new tips um, to help um, heal your digestive system from the Ayurvedic perspective. So hey Tams. Um, so first and foremost, a quick little recap. Ayurveda is a health science from India and it's been around for thousands of years and there's ancient texts on it. It's um, got some parallels with Chinese medicine and um, it's the sister science to yoga. So if you know of yoga, um, Ayurveda is sort of tending to be the next thing that's trending through in, into the West um, due to the huge popularity of yoga. Um, so uh, my three tips, I'll just recap that I gave last Thursday. I'm not going to elaborate or go into them, um, but my three t tips were Number one, only eat three meals a day. Um, and this means that the digestive system has time to heal and to properly digest your meals in between. So it's a bit of a myth that we should be eating like six meals a day. It's ridiculous. And if you were tuned into my um, video literally a week ago, I was talking about my cleanse and I just come off a two week Ayurvedic cleanse where there's no snacking and it's the best thing I've ever done. So um, highly recommended. The second one is to only eat when you are hungry. Again, this is just a sign from your digestive system that it's ready to take in the next meal. So if you're not hungry, you're just putting new food on old food, yeah? So I don't know about you, if you eat when you're hungry, if you're physically hungry, or if you eat when you're mentally hungry, but important to, um, to consider. And finally, last week's um, third tip was that lunch should be the mi biggest meal of the day. Um, you shouldn't be sleeping on a heavy dinner and you shouldn't be shocking your digestive system with a massive breakfast in the morning because it is breakfast. It's breaking the fast. Um, okay, cool. So moving on, um, there are, they, they were the three from last week and the three for this week, my three tips that I want to give you. So taking these on board if you can. Number one is to use spices in your cooking all the time. So oh, I love those those aquary turquoisey hearts, beautiful. Um, use spices in your cooking. I've been doing this like intensely for the last couple of years and it's helped my entire immune system tremendously. So I want to recommend lots and lots of fresh ginger and um, <laughs> And I want to recommend turmeric. Um, I want to recommend cinnamon and cardamom for your breakfast in the morning. But in general, all spices will assist you with um, assimilating your food and definitely help boost your immune system, your digestive fire, which in Sanskrit is called called agni. Um, so we want to boost the digestive digestive fire through using spices. And not to mention, it just bring, gives more flavor to your food. So if you you don't want to be eating bland food, right? So and gives it a lot more flavor and deliciousness. And of course, the quality of your spices is important too. So the fresher, the better. Um, so that's my number one tip for the top three. So the second tip is, um, and this is a tricky one. Yeah, digestive fire. Um, or digestive strength or capacity, perhaps, if you want me to say. Um, the second one is, again, this is a real Ayurvedic thing, but we don't mix raw food with cooked food. Um, so if you're eating a meal, we eat cooked food with cooked food or raw food with raw food. Um, and the reason, the logic behind this is that raw food takes a lot longer to digest um, than cooked food. And it you know, it's it's a lot harder to break down. So we don't want to confuse the digestive system. We want to make things just as easy as possible. So if you're eating raw food, go for it, but just like 
eat a raw meal um, rather than mixing raw food with cooked food. It's kind of confusing. So it's it seems really common that we eat like salad with curry and that kind of stuff and it just it just doesn't it just doesn't sit well so i encourage you to try it and just see how you feel because you are going to be the best experiment yes i'm i'm actually coming to that that's very related to my third point actually with fruit um but just just to wrap that up if you this is a little bit of a tip if you are sitting down for a meal and you have some raw food on your plate with cooked food um what i suggest is that you eat the raw food first so maybe eat your salad first and let it um get into your digestive system as quickly as possible make sure you chew it well and you know maybe just sit and have a conversation and just let it settle for five ten minutes before you put the rest of your food in but avoid putting the um the raw food in last on top okay so ideally only eating cooked food with cooked food raw food with raw food but if you've got to make if you've got a meal and you're blending the two then go for the raw food first okay and then finally my third tip for you and again this is something i just want to emphasize is that you've got to try this you know a lot of people are resistant to this tip and i understand but um you've just got to try it and and see for yourself and that is to ideally um avoid mixing fruit with um other foods do the other way raw food yeah so if you can try and do raw food first that would be much more ideal um so not eating fruit with other food um so fruit is really fast to digest which is awesome which is great but then um, it can create a lot of acidity and gas and bloating in the stomach if you're mixing it with other food um, and so i can highly recommend separating fruit from all other foods now the ways around that are um if you're eating like poached or stewed fruits so of fruit that's been cooked you can like in a porridge or something totally fine um, because cooked fruit takes on a different quality and it gets cooked into your food with your spices and and etc etc but raw fruit raw fruit we want to avoid mixing with other things like um, nuts and seeds and wheat or, or dairy you know think of like bananas on ice cream or whatever um, can be not too hot exactly yeah exactly um, so in particular in Ayurveda we say don't eat melons or any type of melon with any other fruit let alone any other food so melons are kind of like the biggest culprit um, that give us some digestive dis discomfort um, so if you if you eat if you digest or if you're eating f fruit um, in a meal you want to eat it first like again like I said with the second tip if you've got fruit on your plate or maybe you've got some slices of bananas on top of your I don't know porridge or your muesli or whatever eat the fruit off the top first and then just wait for five minutes have a good conversation with someone or just I don't know take a few deep breaths appreciate your environment and then go back and dive into the rest of your meal the way I get around this with smoothies because smoothies are a very very trendy um, thing at the moment and I understand why they're easy to digest and to pack in a lot of um, nutrition but the smoothies I love to make, um, I make sure they're room temperature because it's easier to digest room temperature food when I drink it. Um, and that if I'm having fruit, which in most cases you do have fruit, um, I put it on a base of like coconut water or any kind of coconut product because coconut is fruit. So um, that'll be a little bit more complimentary. And of course, I definitely add um, cinnamon or nutmeg or something delicious to blend with, um, with the smoothie so um, you know it's it doesn't have to be gospel and the thing with Ayurveda is it's not rules it's guidelines and if you can stick to the guidelines just fairly consistently then you can totally break the rules because your digestive strength will be quite high you'll have a strong digestive system to manage maybe foods that are not as compatible normally um, oh great times I'm glad to hear um, and you know and Tammy I know you eat if not all raw but predominantly raw food and the thing that's really worth noting for everybody listening into this is that um, Ayurveda can the principles of Ayurveda can be applied to any dietary choice if you want to be a raw foodie a vegan a carnivore a vegetarian if you're gluten-free um, you know we can apply the principles of Ayurveda to suit every individual and this is the, the thing that I really adore about the system um, and and 
Ayurveda is certainly evolving to suit modern diet and modern foods. So integrating all the sort of the new superfoods and stuff and how we can assimilate them um, well in our bodies. Because if you're eating great food, but you're not digesting it, then you're wasting it. If you're not absorbing the beautiful nutrients, then it doesn't matter the quality of the food that you eat. If you're not digesting it, it's a total waste, which is sad. So I hope that that helps you guys out. Um, let me know if you have any questions, but just uh, to recap, I'll go through all six just to recap, just in case you've just tuned in. So three meals per day in Ayurveda, lunch being the biggest meal per day. We only eat when we're hungry. Then on top of that, we, we use spices to make um, food more easily digestible. And then we avoid mixing raw food and cooked food together. So we eat cooked food with cooked, raw with raw. And then finally we avoid mixing fruit with other foods. So eating fruit separately, like a beautiful bowl of fruit salad for breakfast, or if you need to have fruit through your day, you can have it as a snack. Or if you're making fruit smoothies, um, blend it with all fruit and coconut water or coconut milk or etc. Um, or if you're making a juice, blend fruits or make fruit juices with just fruit or vegetable juices with just vegetables. So Cool guys, thanks so much for tuning in. I'm going to wrap up there because I have to go and pick up my husband. So thanks so much for tuning in. I really appreciate your time and your interest and I look forward to sharing more with you very soon. Have a great day. Yay, Tammy. Love you lots. Bye.